Hello, my name is David Leaves. The title of my project is How Nature Filters Water and How Changes in Surface Soil Affect Nature's Water Filtering Process. The purpose of the Science Fair project is to learn more about how nature filters water and how this process can be affected by changes in the surface soil caused by different factors such as climate change and direct human activity. I will use a model of nature's water filtration system to compare water that is filtered through a natural system with good quality surface soil, a second model with eroded surface soil, and a third model with an impervious surface. I predict that the model with plants in good surface soil will likely provide better water filtration because it has the conditions needed for a more optimal water filtering process. This is a list of materials I used to build the models. These pictures show the materials used including the rainwater. These pictures show the process of building the models, including the layering process. This, these pic or this picture shows the models ready to be tested. My independent variable was changing the type of surface soil used on each filter. My controlled variables was the amount of rainwater used with each model, the time it took to pour the water into each of the models, the type and amount, and the type of container used to create the water filtering models. This table shows the data collected for each model, including collecting time and the amounts of filtered and runoff water and water retained in soil. This slide shows the results of model one. You can see the filtering process in the pictures. The chart shows that the amount of filtered water was 80%, the runoff water was 8%, and the water retaining soil was 12% of the water used. This slide shows the results of Model 2. You can see the filtering process in the pictures. The chart shows that the amount of filtered water was 20%, the runoff water was 72%, and the water retained in soil was 8% of the rainwater used. This slide shows the results of Model 3. You can see the filtering process in the pictures. The chart shows that the amount of filtered water was 9.8%, the runoff water was 87%, and the water retained in soil was 3.2% of the rainwater used in the experiment. Conclusions is that the model with plants and good soil provided better water filtration due to the more favorable conditions needed for a more optimal water filtering process when compared to eroded soil and impervious surfaces. Model 1 took more time to filter the water as it was the model that captured more water in the soil. The other two models took less time to filter the water in the soil as most of the water poured into them was runoff. My applications is that the data obtained from the models give us valuable information to think about how changes in soil affect nature's water cycle as these changes interrupt and alter a critical part of the cycle, filtration through the ground. When I observed the rainwater with the eroded soil being washed away instead of drained through the soil, I thought about a landslide and all the destruction this can cause to a community and the environment. As I poured the water into the model with a concrete surface, I observed that the water and all the debris were washed away. It made me think about how this can contribute to flooding as this matter could end up in our city's drainage system. Thank you. I hope you enjoy my project.